We're doing something that I'm trying to do monthly. It is not really working out. So we're gonna we're gonna aim for seasonally because I'm a little bit, I can probably be a little bit more reliable with that. These are gonna be my summer product picks. Just a really quick kind of rapid fire explaining some products that I have recently gotten in my collection that I've really been using quite a bit lately, why I like them and how much they cost. So that way you guys can go do some research. And if you think it's something you might also like, maybe try it out as well. I have it kind of sectioned off into like skincare, like some kind of like concealer, eyebrow stuff, palettes. And then I do have one hair care product just because I've been using it a lot. And it's one of my favorites. I think I've mentioned it before, but I did want to give it a little shout out. So that's pretty much it. Let's jump into it. First thing I have that I've been using a ton of, and I'm really, really into shockingly is the Manicadar uh, hydration happy hydrating face mist. I say shockingly just because I've used other face mists and I kind of always feel like neutral about them. Like I like them, but I don't necessarily love them. This one I actually received in my American Influencer Beauty Bundle box. That box follows each month a specific company and that all the products in it are from that company. So this month was, or this season, because it's every two months. So this this little box was Manicadar. And so I'd never tried any of her products. I was like, well, I want to try the face mist. First of all, smells delicious. I love it. I love the scent of it. But this, for whatever reason, whether I use it alone or in conjunction with another like either a serum or um, a moisturizer or something on top of it. It just is like the, my skin feels so soft afterwards. It, it's incredible. It's, I've not used another face mist that I like the same way. So this actually, you can buy it in a couple different places, but I did just look and see, you can buy it at Ulta for $19. I think $19 is the retail price pretty much across the board. So I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good face mist. Um, it's a giant bottle. It's uh, 6.8. 6.08 fluid ounces. Yeah, you get a lot. I would imagine this is gonna last me for a hot minute because I've used it almost every day since I've gotten it and you can see it's like barely made a dent. So yeah, love it, highly recommend. The next one we have is the Sugar Rush Don't Hate Hydrate Oil-Free Moisturizer from Tarte. I picked this up in the Build Your Own Custom Bundle set. Um, I did do an unboxing of that, but I haven't really talked about the products that I got. I personally love Tarte. Um, I got, because with those bundles, you get to choose seven different products from different options throughout the thing. I got two boxes and I picked this one for that particular section for both boxes. So I have two of these. And I thought it was a moisturizing primer. It is not, it's just a moisturizer. So I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I love it. It's like the best, it's the best moisturizer I own, hands down. I love it. I love the scent of it. It's this really nice, like orangey, citrusy scent, very refreshing. It is lightweight. I know a lot of people talk about like during the summer, you're really oily because you're sweating so much. I've been using it consistently under my foundation and I feel like it actually keeps my oil kind of contained. It gets in like, you know, and, and kind of keeps me from overproducing oil. So I, I love it. I really like it. Using the two of these together is the best combination I found. Literally, if when I do it, I'll do it after I get home from work and I shower and I work in the middle of the night. So I go to bed after that and I wake up and my, my skin feels like glass. Like it, it's, I may still have blemishes. There may still be like discoloration and stuff, but the feeling of it is the softest it's ever felt. So I love it. That also retails at $19 at Ulta, at Tarte, pretty much anywhere you can find it, $19 is the, the, the full price for it. The next thing we're gonna talk about, whoop, you needed him. This is just like, this isn't a specific product, this is just a company I've seen a lot about, I've talked about it uh, in a haul, but The Ordinary, that's an awkward way to hold it, but The Ordinary, I picked up three products from um, their brand in one of my last hauls. Each product, that I have in front of me is between seven and eight dollars. So super affordable. I have a hyaluronic acid, I have AHA and BHA peeling solution, and then I have a caffeine solution. I love them. I've loved, I use all three of them. I love them. The peeling solution, I was a little worried about when you first put it, put it on, it stings a little bit. And they say like, absolutely under no circumstance, use it for more than 10 minutes. And of course I started watching TikToks and realized I left on my face for like 15 minutes. And I was like, oh my God, is it, do I look like I have like, discoloration or is there, do I look like I've been like thrown, acid was thrown on my face or no, nothing was wrong. It was fine. I really like it. It's not, it's not hard on your skin. It definitely has that kind of initial like sting and you're, you're a little concerned at first, at least I was, but it really is like, it's a very mild peel, if that makes sense. Like I didn't have like chunks of flesh falling off or anything. It wasn't like I was like pulling off dead skin or anything like that crazy. It just really went in there and kind of like got some of those like rough areas out and then I put the hyaluronic acid on on top of it. I loved it. I love it. I, I love the brand. 
this is a pretty much across the board everybody says the skincare brand is affordable and quality you guys know with skincare you can pay for one little serum a hundred dollars and not even think twice about it so i highly recommend looking at their line they have tons of options they're sold on ulta that's where i bought, bought these and um, i think the most expensive product they have is like maybe 28 dollars. but there's a ton that are in like the 10 11 range just look and see what each one does they give a great description that's how i chose to buy these three and um yeah so i'd highly recommend checking them out as well all right next thing i have here is the nyx born to glow radiant concealer I'm using the shade Light Ivory. I got this, it was on sale at Ulta, one of the hauls that I did. I've done so many, I don't know which one. It was on sale, I think it was on sale for like $5.99 maybe, but they're normally full price, $9. Um, and just when I did our little Ipsy chat, I used it for the first time because I was trying to use some products I hadn't used and I didn't talk about it on camera. But this is like one of the best, more affordable uh, concealers I've used in a hot minute. It was it was amazing. Like I'm, I was sitting on camera like talking and I'm like, this is really applying so seamlessly. And my skin looked beautiful the whole day. I, I really, I cannot say enough good things about it. I've used it twice now and I've both times I've just been like so about it. It has that nice little like cushion application. There are tons of uh, concealers that use that cushion application. But one of my favorites is the Julep Turmeric Concealer and it's very similar to that. The Julep one it normally goes on sale and I'll buy it like a couple of them when they go on sale, but full price I think it's like I think it's like $28. So it's pretty it's a pretty significant price decrease if you choose to get this one instead. Still highly recommend the Julep one, but that's a really good dupe for it. Next thing is another product from NYX. It's from the same collection, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Longwear Brow Kit. So it's this little man's right here. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I had to throw something. I have to throw something at least once in the video. So it's a brow. Um, it's supposed to be like it goes in and creates like brow fibers. There's too much liquid on it and there's not a good way unless you take a, I, I would imagine like take like a, a tissue and like pull it off. So I have not been able to create like the fiber look that they're saying with that. Now that also might be my skill level, I'm not gonna lie. So we, whatever, you might be able to make it work. That being said, I really like this for filling, like for the back area of my brows. I normally will take it, like before I even start adding anything, I'll normally just give it like a nice little like coat kind of over my brow fibers and then brush it out into it. And it makes kind of like a DIY, like brow, brow, brow mascara type thing, you know, whatever they, I forget, I always forget what they're called, but they're brow mascaras, you guys know what I'm talking about. That's what it looks like. If you can see, like there's a pretty good amount of the color actually on that little spindle up at the top. So that's why I feel like it just is not as like, they say it's like precision, but I just feel like there's too much product on it for it to be really precision but it does such a good job of giving like a nice base coat and it is a liquid. So I normally just like set it on, brush it out and let it dry down. And then I go in and do what else I need with the pencils and everything else that I use. And, and then I conceal it and I really enjoyed it. I would never do it my eyebrows just with this. I think it would be really, really big pain in the ass to try and make that work. That being said, I think it's a nice supplement to kind of filling in your brows. That's why I recommend that. It is $11 at Ulta. I got it on sale. I think I paid like 50% off for it. So I think I paid like five, six bucks for it. I did like it though, so I'm into it. All right, next thing we're gonna talk about, this is the BH Cosmetics, the entire uh, Weekend Vibes brunch theme collection. We did a whole review using all three palettes. I picked them up pretty recently. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, each one is $18. We've got the Avocado Toast, which is a primarily green eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of gorgeous uh, variations of green in there. Plus you get a couple nice like pink and peach shades and then a yellow shade too. Really loved it. I just was a big fan of everything about it. The Weekend Vibes Mimosa palette. Um, I also loved it. I did like a dual eye look. One was green, one was pink. The whole day I thought I looked like a watermelon. Somebody in a video commented and said, you look like Cosmo and Wanda. And I was like, oh, yeah. It's great, I loved it. But this one's beautiful as well. And then um, we did use the contour. Uh, it's not contour, it's a bronzing and a highlight palette. But I use bronzers as contour, so it was contour palette to me. The Belgium Waffle contour palette. God, I keep doing that highlight and bronzing palette, very neutral colors, not abrasive at all. I mean, you can see the, the bronzers are very usable. The, sh the highlight shades are 
phenomenal. I mean, just like brilliant. I, I love them in so many ways. And I love BH Cosmetics, so it's not surprising that these were on my list. I included all three of them. I could probably pick out my favorite if I had to. I would honestly say it's probably the Avocado Toast one because I think it gives me a lot of colors that I don't have in other palettes. That being said, everybody's preferences are different. So that's why I included all three of them because all three qualities are there. It's gonna be depending on like what you prefer to use, what color schemes you like better. I think they're all worth looking into. If you like them all, I would highly recommend them. I bought them all at full price because $18 really isn't bad, but I know in a matter of months, I'm sure they'll be on sale at Ulta. So just keep an eye out if you want to pick them up for a little bit of a discount price. I'm sure it'll happen. The next thing. This is the Essence Witch Side Eyeshadow Palette. I just filmed a video with this. I was blown away. First of all, gorgeous. Like just absolutely brilliant shades. I love it. Very neutral, but still has that kind of like, I, the aesthetic is carried out, like the whole like witchy eye look type thing. Love it. I won't go into it, but I have a very deep love and fascination with witches and the witch trials. I've written, I was, had a history degree as well as a theater degree from college. And I, two of my large papers I had to write were about the witch trials, one in Europe and one in, Salem. So I just, I love witches. I love all things like about it. So I saw this and I was like, I want to try it. I want to see, but I'd never used Essence. Their eyeshadows before I'd use like a couple like brow products that were like really cheap, just like a brow pencil and like, you know, one of the brow mascaras and stuff like that. Just things that really like, I spent like $2 on it. If I hated them, I was like not going to be traumatized. I saw this, it was on sale for $11.24, which is what I paid for it. It is full price $14.99. It is no longer at Ulta. It's out of stock currently. I'm not sure if you can find it elsewhere. I would definitely research and see. You might be able to buy it like off Essence directly or like from somebody else. This is one of the best palettes I've gotten in so long. I'm shocked just based on like price and the color payoff. Amazing. If I had if I had bought one other or one palette this whole season, this would probably be the one that I would choose because I was so just absolutely astounded at how quality I felt like it was. So love it, highly recommend it. I'm a little bummed out it's not available at Ulta anymore. So if you guys wanna go find it, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. But if you do see it somewhere, I would definitely recommend it. The final thing is the Not Your Mother's Way to Grow Leave-In Conditioner. For whatever reason, my dandruff gets awful, awful during the summer. Like there's been summers in the past that I literally have like chunks of skin like falling out. It's bleeding, it's disgusting. It's horrible, I'm sorry I shared that. This summer has not been as bad, but it's definitely getting rough. And my boss actually said that her hair stylist said that the best way to kind of combat too much dandruff and stuff like that is to not condition every day. Well, I'm showering every day. I have to because I work every day. So I come home and I jump in the shower because you know, it's just, that's the that's the times we's living in. So I shower every day and, and I, my hair always tangles and because it's so thin, it hurts and then it pulls out and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna get bald. So I have to use something to help it not be tangled when I'm brushing through it. And I found that this does a really great job of one, making it easier for me to brush through my hair, but also strengthening my hair throughout the day. It has really done just a nice job of like giving my, my hair that extra like that it needs if I don't condition. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I'm not explaining it well, but I highly recommend it if you're looking for a good leave-in conditioner. That's basically all there is to it. It's not expensive, it's $8.49 full price. They do put it on sale sometimes at Ulta. A lot of times not your mother's will be like 50% off or they'll be like buy one, get one free or buy two, get, well, that would be 50% off. It'd be like buy two, get one free. <laughs> that, that would be a different sale than 50% off. We're, we're doing it, we're chugging along. Anyway, so yes, that is my final product for the uh, the summer recommendations. Um, I would love if you guys have any questions about the product specifically, definitely leave comments asking about them. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you guys found something that you might wanna try out. Um, I've bought a lot recently and these are the products that I was able to securely pick out and say that I would definitely recommend to anybody who was like, hey, I'm looking for a moisturizer. Hey, I'm looking for a new palette. I love these, all of them were great. Um, yeah, so if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like our channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you see when we post. And other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.